Testing one, two, right there. Testing one, two, got it. So whose responsibility was that for? Well, actually, if Kim was sponsoring, they should be responsible for everything. Press box, everything. When AB did it, they were the owner, announcer, and everything. Yeah, I 
Hawks Nest as the towing cost was just tossed as they meet take on the Southern Lab. And we'll be just short of the kickoff in a few minutes here. And there come Southern Lab. As they come on the field, they dress in their gold helmets, gold jerseys with UCLA stripes, white numerals, stripes on their gold pants, and they're ready to go. SU crowd is getting alive early here as the referee breaks the the huddle. I said I needed my glasses. I got to get them. Uh, I'm going to transfer you. Who's playing now? Southern Lab? Yeah. Uh, what's your cell phone number? I, I got it. 504? I just called you. Yeah. I oh, I got it. I can't see that. I got to go. I got to go. Get my glasses. All right. I'll right back. All right. What's going on? Hey, bro. And back deep for the Southern Lab is going to be number one. Douglas. Can't make out the other guy. <clears throat> Kicking off for the Warriors. Number 19. That's going to be a short kick at about the 25 up to the 20. And he runs into a big tackle at about the 31 yard line that spinned him around and finally brought him down on the first side. So the Southern Lab kid is going to play first and 10 from the 35 yard line. The, uh, the kids come out with spread offense. Quarterback is number 11, Douglas. Running back is number seven. Two receivers on both sides for the kittens. Snaps back, hand off to the running back, right up the eight gap, picked up about four or five yards. Good run on first down by the kittens as they open up the gym replay here at the Hawks Nest. My name is James Smokey Leonard, and you're watching Ghost Sports TV as we bring you 2023 football. We are live at the Hawks Nest from Greensburg, Louisiana. Second down and five for the Kittens. Same set, two receivers to both sides. One back, that's number seven. Boys, 
Armin and the Douglas just throws it out here in the flat to the 50, tried to get it to number 18. Marquez, that falls incomplete, so it's going to bring up third down for the Kittens as they huddle up at the line of scrimmage. As they look to both sides. I text you. I got a chair. Look, I text you the He's going kittens. up. I can't just... Yeah, I text you that. That's it. He's back, and he got pressure from the Warriors, and he gets out of that. Jukes one side, trying to get the first down, and he is knocked back as a flag down. Helmer comes out. So the, Hawk, uh, the Warriors defense Phil every gap that time as the kittens had nowhere to go as Douglas tried to get the ball downfield. Had good pursuit by the Warriors defense that time. 10 minutes and 57 seconds to go here in the first quarter as the kittens came out, ran five plays and now they're getting ready to punt it on a fourth down and six. I'd like to welcome you fans back to high school football, Louisiana Athletic Association. It's been hot here with wildfires all over. But thank God we got a overcast skies here tonight. Good football weather as the kittens is going to punt back to the Warriors. I can't make out that number from here. Let's see, that is number... And that's going to be a good kick out of there. And it's going to come down to number 20. Scoops it up at the third 25. And gets down to the 25-yard line. Thrown down that hard by the Kittens. So the Warriors will play first and 10. First and 10 from the... Can't see where the ball is spotted. The press box said the 29. Let's see if it's a 24 yard line. That's gonna be first and 10 for the Warriors. Let's see what the Warriors. In. And that's a good run to the opposite side by the quarterback. That's number 15 on the carry, Brendan Coleman. Complete, and that's going to be a juke inside the 30 up to about the 34. Should be close to the first down. That's Coleman on the carry. Brandon Coleman on the reception for the Warriors. Jack Robinson is going to be as he run around the right side, as Franklin handed off to him. Picked up of about two for the first down, Warriors. Standing back in the gun. Jack Jackson, and he handed off to the back, and it is Stuffed in there by the gold shirt guys from Southern Lab, and that's going to bring up second down. I can remind you next week, we'll be right here at the Hawks Nest as the St. Helena College and Career Hawks take on the Sumner. I don't know what Sumner is, but they're Cowboys. Should have known that as the ball goes that's incomplete. So that's going to bring up third down and 11 for the Warriors. 
8.25 to go here in the first quarter of this two-quarter Jim Marie. Third and 11. Jack looks, he's gonna wheel it way down there. Got a man, overthrows him as he overshoots Coleman on the first side as it falls incomplete and the Warriors would, would punt it. Ball intended for Jimmy Hunt, number 16. So the Warriors go five and out. Well, no, it's third down in 11. I thought it was third down on that play. We in mid-season form look like, and that was going to, I thought I was right, that's going to be fourth down as the Warriors sent out the punting team. Number 18 is going to be the punter for the Warriors. Williams act to punt it. High kick over the 40, got a good kick, come down at the 30, field it there by the Hawks, he jukes one guy, gets up to the 35, falls forward to about the 37. As he picked up a second yard with a late flag coming in. Be first and 10 after this penalty. A late penalty coming in there. The Cowboys come into the Hawks Nest Stadium next week. The Hawks have lost three straight to the Cowboys. Got a flag uh, that's going to back them back. Let's see what the call is. It's going to be a major penalty, like it's going to be a holding call. It's going to send them back to the 23 yard line. Spread offense for the Kittens. Douglas is in at quarterback, along with the running back, number 22, look like. Three receivers to the far side, one to the near side from the gun, hand off to the running back off the right left side. And he's gonna be tackled right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe pick up a yard. Second down and 10 for the kitten. Three receiver to the first side. One back. Three-step drop. Looks downfield. Looks, looks, looks. Got pressure. And he's going to be brought down by the number nine for the Warriors as they lose about four. It's going to bring up second down. And I'm going to bring up third down. And let's call it 14. It's going to be third and about 13. Same set for the, the kittens. Three receivers to the first side. Douglas sends one receiver here to the near side. And another three-step drop. Looks downfield. Throws a zip it in there. Complete first down at the 40. By number 14 for the kittens on uh, Douglas laser shot in there. Braylon Taylor on the reception. It's going to be first down and 10 at the 47 yard line. Thank you. 
And it's a water break, and we'll take a time out right here. Welcome back to the heart of St. Helena Parish School District, where education blossoms and futures ignite. Our hallways are adorned with the achievements of those who aim high. It's time to rethink St. Helena. Are you ready to get back to discovering? Socializing. And now, as the sun sets on this chapter, a chorus of victory rises. Hey, Alina, are you ready to get back to winning? Welcome back to St. Helena Parish School District, where every day we are on a first down. Three receivers to the left or to the right, one to the near side, heading off to the back, fake it, three-step drop. Douglas looks downfield, pressure, pushes him out of there. He's going to take it upfield, got a flag down, gets past the midfield stripe, down to the first down marker. But there's a flag somewhere in the holding vicinity. Let's see if that's the case as the Warriors might catch a break here. on the first side, we'll take a short time out. That's number 11, Douglas with the injury as he escorted to the sideline. Quarterback is number 10, the new quarterback. That's going to be iron. Two receivers to both sides, and that's going to be a blown whistle. It's going to be delay. Franklin in at quarterback for the Kittens. First down and that's going to call it 25. break as number 10 put it on the ground and the Warriors are going to recover it on the plus side of the 50 
to be exact, is going to be at the 25-yard line of the Kittens. First and 10 for the Warriors. Warriors comes out. Now quarterback is number 12, Daniels. And that's gonna be a bad snap as number 12 scoops up for about a yard. So second down for the Warriors, second and eight. Four minutes and 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. And he's going to throw a quick hitter out here to number four. He's going to pick up about two, three yards. At the 23, going to, going to be third down and three, let's call it. From the near hash mark. Two receivers to the far side, one to the back side, faking that quick hit to the outside. And uh, Southern Lab had that covered all the way as they faked it into the inside of the line and then threw a little hitch out to number 13. And the Kittens was right there to cover it, so it's gonna bring up fourth down. They lose about four yards on that play. And they're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Fourth and six. Tight set, two receivers to the near side, two to the first side, got a blitz, and he gets out of it, no, and he finally brought down, and the ball hit the ground, but uh, let's see who got it. It looked like the kittens came up with it after the quarterback was scrambling and he went back as he was falling, the ball came out, the goal shirt fell right on it, first and 10 for the Kittens. Three minutes and 26 seconds to go. It's gonna be a first down, look like Douglas is back into the game for the Kittens. Douglas back in at quarterback, two receivers to the near side, one to the top of the field, one back set. Snap is back, Douglas hands off to the running back, scoops in there, cuts back inside, get out to the numbers, cut back into the hash. First down as he scoops himself across the 45 to about the 47 yard line. Thomas on the carry for the that's number one. It's gonna be first and 10 for the Kittens. Once again to the little guy, this time he slips and slides for about two yards as the Kittens pick up a plus yardage on that play. Gonna move it up to about the, well, no. They say he did not get, a, get any yards, so he must start sliding before he got to the yard of scrimmage. It's gonna be second down and 10. Douglas is in the backfield. Snap back, Douglas looks, 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 throws it, and it's gonna, no, he throws it down, and he's gonna get out of a would-be tackle, finally pulled down at about a loss of about five yards, not about three yards. So that's gonna bring up third down, and let's call it 12. So 
third down and 12 for the Kittens. 143 to go in the first quarter. Snap back and they scan it off to the little guy once again. He gets the hash mark, gets the numbers, turns the corner at about the 45 yard line as he was pushed out of bounds there by number seven and number zero. That's gonna be a first down for the lab as the little guy moves the chain. It's gonna be first and 10 from the 44 yard line of the Warriors. Douglas back and complete to number six at about the 40, gets out of one tackle, it's gonna be a foot race. And he's knocked out of bounds at about the 21 yard line as he escaped the would be tackler and scooted down the sideline and the kid has got a little mild threat going. And it's gonna be time out on the field. I'd like to remind you next week, the Hawks will be right here at the Hawks Nest as the Cowboys of Sumner comes in to take on the war, uh, the Hawks. You can watch it right here on Ghost Sports TV. Kickoff is at seven o'clock. You can join me and my crew as the Cowboys come in to take on the Hawks. Welcome back to the heart of St. Helena Parish School District, where education blossoms and futures ignite. Our hallways are adorned with the achievements of those who aim high. It's time to rethink St. Helena. Yes, I'll let you look it up. It's kind of choppy, so I'm trying to... Oh, okay. So first and 10 for the Kittens at the 21 yard line. First down from the 21 yard line. Douglas still in that quarterback. Come on, hit it. Hit it down and out. Any shotgun? Hit that. Douglas, he backed it. He backed it. Throws it, throws it, throws it, 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 and it is incomplete out of the back of the end zone. It's gonna bring up second down and ten for the kittens. That ball was intended for number one. It's gonna bring up second down and ten from the twenty-one. Three-step drop, looks downfield, looks, and he pulls it down. Gonna come here, goes back to the far side, and he's got nowhere to go as he's pulled down hard by number 43 on a loss. Loss of about eight yards on that play. So it's gonna bring up third down, and let's call it 18. With 43 seconds to go in the quarters. Somebody call timeout, and we'll take one, too. Third down looks like 18. What more that needs to be done? We need to invest. St. Helena Parish School District is making progress, but there is still more that needs to be done. We need to invest in sustainable growth. Invest in consistency. Invest in technology. Invest in security. Invest in our future. Invest in St. Helena.
third down play for the third down play for the Kittens. Third and 18 from the 29 yard line of the Warriors. Douglas in the shotgun. Two receivers to the near side. I mean, far side. One to the near. On a three-step drop. Throws it down there. Got a man. He's got to bat it up in the air as it falls incomplete. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Thirty-seven seconds to go. On a fourth down play for the kittens. Fourth and 18 from the 29. Douglas in the gun, and it's going to be throwing way down there. Got a guy, got a guy, got a man. Touchdown! No! As he had it in his hand, that is to come down with it. Ball popped out, so it's going to be first and 10 for the Warriors. That was a good looking throw by the quarterback, Douglas. 29 seconds left to go in the quarter. As the Warriors come up in a tight running set. Quarterback turns, hand off to the back. Back shoots into the hole and it was nowhere to go. With 22 seconds to go in the half. Might be the last play of the quarter. I don't see a meet in no hurry. 11 seconds on the 10. And that's going to be it here for the first quarter. <laughs> Are you ready to get back to discovering? Socialize. And now, as the sun sets on this chapter, a chorus of victory rises. Say, Alina, are you ready to get back to winning? Welcome back to St. Helena Parish School District, where every day we are winning. Welcome back to the heart of St. Helena Parish School District, where education blossoms and futures ignite. Our hallways are adorned with the achievements of those who aim high. It's time to rethink St. Helena. Are you ready to get back to discovering? Socialize. Spring. Are you ready to get back to winning? And now, as the sun sets on this chapter, a chorus of victory rises. Say, Alina, are you ready to get back to winning? Welcome back to St. Helena Parish School District, where every day we are winning.
We had classes in temporary trailers and graduated in a worn down auditorium. Today, we have new classrooms, new cafeteria, and an incredible football field, all thanks to the tax increase several years ago. Since my time here, St. Helena has done some amazing things. Here are just a few. My favorite is the increased graduation rate. I'm glad to see new Hawks joining the alumni, but there's still work to do. A lot of our favorite teachers are leaving. So now, how are freshmen gonna know what to expect on the first day if all the old teachers are gone and the new teachers aren't able to stay long enough to even get a nickname? So why aren't they staying? Simple, someone else can afford to pay them better. I think it's time for that someone to be us. With this proposed tax, we will be able to increase starting salaries to $47,000. Invest in our teachers, invest in St. Helena, invest in our future.
Ryan Sagnier. And we're just about ready to start this second half of this jamboree here at the Hawk's Nest as the kids of Southern Lab take on the Warriors of Amy. And it was an all defense in the first half. Both teams got a break. The Warriors pick up a fumble on the 25-yard line of the Kittens and cannot move it in. The Kittens got a break, moved the ball down to the Warriors 29-yard line and couldn't score, ended up losing yardage after that. That brings us to this point where the score is nothing to nothing and kickoff on the second half will be coming right up in one minute. takes the field to start this second half. There's been a good rivalry between these two schools the last several years. They've played in the Jamboree and also uh, the Kentwood Kangaroos play the Southern Lab in a regular schedule game as the two schools play in the same district. This time the Kangaroos, I mean the kids will be kicking to the Warriors, kick it from their left to our right. The Warriors be going from our right to our left with 43 seconds to go to kick off. And we set the kick to kick it. Southern Lab is going to kick off. Back deep for the Warriors, going to be number 16, 15 for Warriors, and along with number 20. That's going to be 15 from the 20. He got the 25, got the 30, the 32, the 37, 32, 33 yard line as the Warriors play first and 10 from that spot.
as the Warriors come out. Number 12, the quarterback, Jack Jensen. Two receivers to the near side, one to the top, one back with a man in motion to the near side, and he turns up field, throws a pass out here as he bounces it incomplete. Tenet for number four, falls incomplete. It's gonna bring up second down. To receive it to the near side for the Warriors. One to the far side. It's got two to the far side. It's to put the guy out on the numbers. And he got a three-step drop, and he throws it out. He completes the 18, and he's hit hard in there at about the 38-yard line. That's going to be complete. It's going to bring up third down and about five. Let's call it four. Jeremy Franklin is the quarterback, and he gets it out to number 15, Coleman. And Coleman is pretty close to the first down. He may have it. It's going to be a first down. bad snap and he throws it incomplete that's a bad snap for the Warriors on that first down and 10 play Coleman just threw it away I'm sorry Franklin just threw it away Gonna bring up second down and ten. Two receivers here to the near side, one back. Got a wing back to the far side. One receiver to the far side. Hand off to the back as he pulled out in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of four on the play is going to bring up fourth, third down and 14 and we're going to have a timeout and we'll take one with it. play for the Warriors as Franklin that drop looks throws it way down there throws it way down there it's gonna be overthrown as he tried to reach Coleman on that far side and he was well covered over there by the kittens gonna bring up fourth down and 14 for the Warriors 10 minutes and 16 seconds to go in the ball game with no score been a defensive battle all the way or lack of offense, whichever you want to call it. 
You're watching Ghost Sports TV. My name is James Smokey Leonard. Gonna be a big kick. Take a layup bounce. Standing back for the punt for the Warriors. No, they on defense, I'm sorry. As Lab tried to throw it downfield and the quarterback got beat up pretty good. Let's see if that's Douglas. Uh, yes, that's Douglas. As he tried to get it downfield, had nowhere to go with it. Gonna bring up second down and ten. Douglas calls for the ball, snaps back, hand off to the running back off to the right side, ran right into number six for the Warriors. On a big hit there. That's Briggs on the carry, I mean on the hit. Gonna bring up third down in nine. Snaps back. Douglas looks downfield. Looks, looks, looks. Got precious. Flushed out of there. And he gets up close to a first down, maybe a yard short. Stopped in there by number 41 for the Warriors. Contest. Two receivers to the far side, one here, two back set, and the pistol set. And the Warriors look like they jumped off sides and they got that first down on a default as the defense aligned is caught for encroachment. So the kitten's going to move the chain, first and ten. They'll be at the 41-yard line of the Warriors. 7.50 to go in the contest, no score. Two backs. Shotgun snap, and he throws it over here, complete. And he gets out of one tackle, gets to 45, gets to 30. And that's going to be another first down for the Kittens. As they move the chain on the first side, the Kittens got a mile drive going at the Warriors, 30. Two receivers to the first side, one here to the near side, pistol set. Hand off to the guy as he gets off to the left side of the line and he's pulled back by the Warriors. Maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. If so, it'll bring up second down and 10 with 6.55 to go.
two receivers to the far side, one here to the near side, two backs, one flank each side of the quarterback, snap is back, three-step drop, looks downfield, throws it, got a man open, throws it, throws it, throws it, and he got it, touchdown, Kittens, as he laid it in there on the far side, double coverage all over him, and he was able to come down with that catch, can't get the number on him, but what a football play. That's going to be number six. Mr. Extra Point. Double 14. Double 14. That was 14 on the reception for the. On Southern Lab. 14 on Southern Lab. For the score. Good looking catch by that number 14. So let's see if the Warriors can take this six minutes and 26 seconds left to bounce back. Gonna be down at the 15 from the gets the 15, gets the 30, and pull down at about the 35, 34 yard line on the far side from the 33 yard line. First and 10. <clears throat> As you can see, 20 took it at ball and tried to get a alley on the right side. Was able to get good yardage on that return. The Warriors are going to play first and 10 from the 35 yard line. Franklin still in at quarterback. Snap back, and it's going to be flown dead. It's going to be a flag on the play. Illegal procedure, charge to the Warriors. Six nothing, kittens over the Warriors, 6.15 to go. Second down and, I mean, first and five, 15 for the Warriors. And let's run it to the right side. Pick up about three. It's gonna bring up second down and 13. Six minutes exactly to play in the game. And that's going to be our timeout, and we'll take one also.
second down and 12 for the Warriors after that timeout. Two receivers here to the near side, two to the top. Franklin on a three-step drop, and he throws it into a sea of hands, but no one could corral it. Had four guys so covering number four on that far side over there, so it's going to bring up second down. And there's another flag. Roughing the pass against the kids. Going to bring up first down after the penalty for the Warriors. Complete in the flat. Coleman had two men on him and it falls incomplete at 549 to go. Gonna be first and ten from the forty-nine. First down for the Warriors. 549 to go in the quarter. The Warriors on the center and they got a whistle for a stoppage. And that's going to be another penalty. Oh, they were just correcting the first penalty, so it's going to be first and uh, five. And they give it to the back on a quick hitter, and he picks up three, four yards maybe. And it's going to be an injury timeout.
As the player gets off the field, it's going to be first down and six. A quick hitter in there and maybe a yard. A lot of tussling going on down there. It's going to bring up second down. I'd like to remind you, you were watching Ghost Sports TV. Got another injury down there. We bring you all the Hawks football games this fall, starting next week as we play right here at the Hawks Nest. As the Jewel Sumner Cowboys come in here with that wing T offense. Should have a good crowd, get here early so you can get yourself a good seat. And we'll take a short break right here. Getting to the sideline. It's going to bring up second down and four for the Warriors. Ball is at the 47 48 yard line of the Kittens. Are set for the Warriors. One receiver to the far side. Hand off to the back. No. And it's going to be a, another flag down as Franklin took the snap. Let's see what the call is on that. It's going to be like it's going to be against the Warriors. It's going to bring up second down and uh, nine. Five, fifteen to go. Second quarter of this country. Is the final quarter. Franklin on a five step drop, throws it way down there. It's going to be out of bound on that first side, so it's going to bring up third down. And do we have another flag? Holding a meet, 10 yards, and going to bring up second down and 19. Mm -hmm. 
four minutes and 54 seconds go in this final stanza in this jammery here from the Hawks Nest in Greensburg, Louisiana. You're watching Ghost Sports TV. My name is James Smokey Leonard. Second down and 19 to a receiver to the near side, to the top of the field. Five step drop by Franklin. Throws it over here, incomplete. As he tried to get it to Coleman, and it falls incomplete. It's gonna bring up fourth down. 446 to go. In the final quarter of this 2023 St. Helena College and Career Academy, Jamari. My name is James Smoker Little. You're watching Ghost Sports TV. Right after this game, the Warriors, I mean the Hawks, homestanding, will take on the visiting Kentwood King of Rue. Should be a good matchup. And we'll take a timeout right here. It's just a wonderful thing for the town of Greensburg. You know, they love to run the ball and like to do those other quick hit passes. Just play a game and be the best that you could be. Come up on a third down play, third and 19, two receivers to the both sides. One back set. Franklin on a three-step drop. He flushed on it, rolls to the right, throws it down here, bite it up in the air. It's going to be falls incomplete. Thought I had a chance to intercept it. So it's going to bring up fourth down with 4.35 to go in the final quarter. As the Warriors get ready to punt it from the 45, kicker standing back at his 22. Snaps back, good kick. Gonna take a kitten's bounce and touch down dead by the Warriors. 424 to go in the final quarter. And they got another penalty on the play. Personal foul against the kittens. It's going to back him up another 15. As the kittens <clears throat> take the field, 424 in the game. The kittens on the long end of the score by a score of six to nothing. As the Warriors is in on defense. The Kittens pay first and 10 from the 24. Two receivers to the top, one below us, one back set. Give it to the running back, tries to get outside, caught in the backfield by a warrior, number 31. Earl Tim on the, on the tackle for the Warriors. About three minutes and 51 seconds to go in the game. 
the shotgun. He's back to pass. He got a man. Number six. Right on the outside. And he's out of bounds. He got a man. Number six. Bring up second down and let's call it five. Flag on the ground. It's going to be a flag fest here in the second half. Three minutes and 24 seconds to go. It's second down and along, 35 yards to go. Need to get it all the way up to the 34-yard line. Snaps back, Douglas hands off to the running back, gets off, bounces outside, gets down the alley, and by the numbers, up to about the 22. Good run by number one. Three minutes and five seconds to go. Two receivers to the top, one below us, one back set. And Douglas is flushed out of there, and he's going to run out of bound again at two minutes and 50 seconds at the 21. Fourth and four for the kittens as they're going to go for it here. Send two receivers to the top, one to the bottom. Douglas calls for the snap. And see, he's going to try and draw him off. Warriors already jumped on one penalty. False start choice to the kittens, so that's going to bring out the punting team for sure now. 215, 257 to go in the game. Kittens six. Santa, uh, they beat nothing. As the punt team comes on the field. <laughs> 20 stands back at his 46. The punter stands back at his 14.
Southern Lab is back to punt. Texas A Warriors bounce, so Warriors got 245 to go with 50 yards, 51 yards to go. Let's see if the Warriors can pull this two minute offense and get a touchdown and extra point to pull this victory out for the 2023 Jamboree. Crowd is getting wild here. My name is James Smokey Lennox. You're watching Ghost Sports TV, a flying ghost production. Two receivers to the first side for the Warriors. Franklin on the roll that way. He looks it, looks it, throws it complete on the first side over that to number four. First down, Warriors. Thirty-nine yard line of lab. It's gonna be first and ten. Shotgun for the Warriors. Roll this way. Looks, 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 looks. Try to throw it. No, he pulls it down. Gets inside the 40 to about the 37 yard line. Pick up of about one, maybe two. Two minutes and 11 seconds. Timeout charge to the Warriors. Second down and eight for the Warriors. Two minutes and three seconds, two minutes. Franklin back to throw, got, throws it. Complete inside the 20 to the 20 yard line. Gonna be a first down for the Warriors inside the 20. With 153 to go. Throws it, throws it, incomplete as it falls. Almost had a reception. Second down 10 from the 20 yard line. One minute and 35 seconds left to go in the game. With Southern Lab 6, Amy 
Zero. And it is pressing. Franklin's back, looks, 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 throws it, throws it, throws it. Out of the end zone with 129 to go. Third down for the Warriors. We are on uh, one minute and 12 seconds and counting. Gonna be a third down play. The ball is spotted at the 21 yard line. Got a stop at the play. 120. Third down for the Franklin as the Warriors got two receiver to the top. He rolls that way. Looks, looks, looks. Gets outside and he's hit hard and throws the ball away. And it falls incomplete. That should be a legal drowning, but I don't see a flag on the field. And it's one minute and 10 seconds to go on. This is a fourth down play coming up. This could be for all the marbles. Ball from the 21. Three receivers to the top, two to the bottom. You have to set for Franklin. One minute and 10 seconds to go in the contest. Snap back. Franklin looks, 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 looks. Got nowhere to go. Finally throws it in the end zone. And it's incomplete. As the kittens played tight defense on that play with 102 to go. And from that spot, they should be able to run out the clock. One oh two to go. Well, here come the kittens out to finish up this last one oh two. As they're in a victory situation and they're gonna kneel it down. As the clock continues to run with 57 seconds. Possibly one more snap. One more, one more game and the game is over. Looks like it's gonna end. Solo lab six. Amy, zero. Look like the final score there is gonna be with 39 seconds left. Is Amy's gonna drop this. To set a lab by a core of six. And this is going to be probably the last play of the game as we're on the 30 seconds. Under 22 seconds. 16 seconds. Snap back and the knee is down. 10 seconds. And this is going to be it. Stay tuned right away for the next half an hour or so. We'll be right back here with uh, Kid Brook, King of Rose, and St. Helena Hawks. My name is James Smoker Leonard. You've been watching Ghost Sports TV.
control. You have somebody blocked in. I have a red Chrysler with license plate number 774GCG. 774GCZ. A red Chrysler. That's why I blocked in. Let him out. Traffic control again. We have a white Nissan with a license plate number three five eight F L E. That's three five eight F L E. A white Nissan. Need to move it. Guess what? Blocked in. the Hawks Nest as the second part of the 2023 Jamboree as your homestead and Hawks take care of the Kentwood Kangaroos. The Roos coming in off a big record of the year ago, 9-1, lost in the second round in the playoff, I think maybe the quarterfinals. The Hawks lost in the second round a year ago in the same game. Kentwood beat the Hawks and St. Helena is going to be As the Hawks get ready, see Coach Fault, uh, Gardens all fired up on the sideline. The Hawks coming in here with their gray shade, gold numbers, and black pants, black headgear. Captain for the Hawks game is going to be number 55 and number 3. 
That is... Noon, as we know him. Kent Woods, dressed in a orange head gear, white pants, is with blue numbers, white shirts. As they toss the coin in the middle of the field. I missed it. Coin toss is like the the Hawks are going to be kicking off from our right to our left. Kentwood will be kicking off to the Hawks. The Hawks will be going from right to left. Back deep for the Hawks, gonna be number one, Daryl Singleton, along with number three, Noon. Harness is back for the Averis Harness. Singleton is back with him. The Hawks are going to be charged with a personal foul penalty for having them as uniforms on. So they're going to be. They're going to move it back to the 40. Kent Woods going to tee it up from the 40. You're watching Ghost Sports TV. My name is James Smokey Leonard. This is 2023 football from the Hawks Nest, Kent Wood versus St. Helena. And we're on the way, and it's going to come down to Singleton at the 19. Picks it up, gets across the 20, to the 25, to the 26 yard line as the Hawks play first and 10 from that spot. Quarterback for the Hawks going to be our Darian Baker. KJ would be in the backfield with him. The receiver is going to be... Number 21, that's going to be Jarvis Brister. Harness is in the huddle. First and 10 from the 27-yard line of the Hawks. Three receivers to the far side. One to the left. Baker in the gun. Man in motion, no, this sets him. Hands off to the back as he try to get outside and he's tripped up by number double zero. By number zero, it's going to be a loss on a play of about four. It's going to bring up second down. And let's call it 14. I'm 
Baker gets to play from the sideline. As they break the Hullison harness here to the near side, three receivers up to the top of the field, one back set, that's Jarvis Brister. And that's going to be a bad snap. And it looked like, look like Kent Wood's going to follow it. And let's see. No, the Hawks recovered it. No. Lost about another three yards on that play. So it's going to be... Third and 20. As the Hawks moving the wrong way with the ball. Three receivers to the top, one to the bottom. Back, looks downfield, throws it in there complete to Martin. Martin steps over the 20. Host of rules. Gonna bring fourth down for the Hawks. Fourth and fourteen. Baker stands back at his 12-yard line for the punt. Good punt out of there, and going to take a Hawks bounce, picked up by Kenwood on the fourth side, got speed, got a flag, down the alley, down the sideline, get to 20, to 18-yard line, as Kentwood runs it back well inside the Hawks territory, but that was a flag in the vicinity of holding. Let's see what the penalty is going to be. It's going to be a penalty against Kentwood for holding. Holding against the rules is the call. They'll start to play from about the 47 yard line. So Rouge will play first and 10 from that spot. Well, they're going to move him back further. The flag was thrown at the 37, they're 47, and they're going to move him back to the 42 yard line. So the Rouge play first and 10 from that spot. Brown is the quarterback. And that is number nine on the counter as he cuts back inside, pick up about four. Burton on the carry. Four yards for Burton on that carry. Eight minutes and 37, 27 seconds to go in the first stanza here. Kent Wood has the ball at the Hawks 47. Call for the ball, hand off to Burton once again. He hits in there with nowhere to go as the Hawks converge on him that time. Led in there by number eight.
Third down, and let's call it six. Two receivers here to the near side, two to the top of the field. One bunt back with Burton. Uh, Three-step drop, throws it downfield, got a man wide open, got a man wide open. He catches it inside the 25 to about the 20-yard line as the quarterback threw it over the defensive back head and the receiver comes down with it. First down for Kidwood at the 17-yard line. Let's call it the yeah, 17-yard line, first and 10 for the Ruse. First and 10 for the rules on the first possession here. One, three receivers to the first side. One back, that's Burton, man in motion back this way. Counter, and it throws a swing pass out here to number six. Break out of one tackle, gets out of another one, and he's gonna get it in. So just like that, Kent Wood, four plays, and they catch it in on a Little swing pass to the right side. The receiver broke out one tackle and number six. No, that was not a score. Jermaine Brown. Brown. He's going for the point after. Snap. Snap back, kick is good. So just like that, the Kentwood King of Rules, Flexdale Muscles with 647 to go, lead the Hawks by a score of seven to nothing. Kentwood Kangaroos came in and flexed their muscles on their first drive. We are at 6.47 to go in the first stanza, 7 nothing. Back to eat for the Hawks, going to be number one, Singleton. Harness, number three. Kick his back and it's going to come down to Harness at the 15. He gets around the floor and he gets up to the 30, twist and turn to the 35. As he got a good return by Harness. Got to remind you next week the Hawks will be right here at the Hawks Nest as they take on the Sunday Cowboys 7 o'clock kickoff right here on Ghost Sports TV. 6.39 to go. Second time the Hawks had the ball. Quarterback is gonna be Darian Baker. Jarvis Brewster is gonna be the running back. And long number seven coming in, that is Vernon Garden Jr. As he in the slot, now he's shifted to the far side. We got three receivers to that side. One here below us, one back, that's Jarvis. And it reset Jarvis. Three step drop, looks, there's gonna be a flag. It's gonna be a false start charge against the Hawks. First down, 15. 
first and 15 for the Hawks. Three receivers to the far side. One here below us. One back set, flanked to the left of Baker. Snaps back. Got good pressure. They flushes him out of there, throws it. I don't know where he was throwing it. He was just throwing it away, so. Falls incomplete. It's gonna bring up second down and 15 for the Hawks. It's gonna be a second down play. Hawks break the huddle. And uh, two receivers to the far side, two <coughs> below us here. And gonna be a bad snap and look like everything's going wrong for the Hawks right now. Third down and uh, uh, look like it's forever, 25, 30 yards. Let's see if we can pull a rabbit out of the hat right here. Time Official timeout, take a break right here. Gonna bring up third down. You know what you need to do. Trips to the right. And another penalty by the Hawks. Hawks tried in three guys. Let's go, Hawks. It's going to be third down. Oh, we need a one play. One play. Snaps back. Three step roll. And he's knocked out of bounds as he hit from behind. Falls incomplete. Bring up fourth down for the Hawks. Stand back to punt. No snap. Bad kick. Take a Hawks bounce out of the bound at the 35. Falls in. And we'll play first and 10 from that spot as the rules. 
left. Five minutes and 45 seconds. Second first quarter. Kentwood play first and 10 from the 35. Snaps back and he's gonna throw it down here. Intercepted by the Hawks and that's gonna be a good pick as the linebacker stepped in and picked that off. That number 23, that's KJ. KJ on the pick for the Hawks as they try to snick it right in there behind the linebackers and KJ had nothing to do with it and pick it off and was taking it the other way. First and 10 from the 47. The Hawks come out with one receiver here to the near side, that's Harness. You got three at the top of the field. <clears throat> one back behind Baker, flex to the left now, and then they give it to him. That is number 10, Xavier Garden. Picked up a yard on the play. Second and nine for the Hawks. Actually, it's nine and a half. Let's call it 10 yards. As the Hawks break the huddle, very gingerly. Three receivers to the top. <clears throat> One below us, that's Harness. And gonna swing it out here to 10, and he gets across midfield down inside the 45. To number 10, that's Gabe Xavier Garden. Third down and three for the Hawks as Baker trots back in. Four minutes and 17 seconds to go in the first stanza. Kentwood seven, St. Helena nothing. And we are at the 2023 GMRE at the Hawks Nest. Two receivers to the top of the field for the Hawks. One below us. <laughs> Snaps back. And got good pressure. And he couldn't step up. So it's going to be a loss of about four. So it's going to bring up fourth down and Back to front, number three, Hunters. Change that, number two, Baker. Baker back. Lost about 10 yards on the play. That's gonna be a first down to kick in hood. Well, the Hawks gave it right back to him after that pickoff by KJ. Three and out. The ball is at the 38. Two minutes and 45 seconds to go in the first 
quarter. No seven, nothing Kentwood. Send two receivers to the near side, to the top. One back set, that's Burton in the backfield. With Brown. And that is Burton right up the gut. You got a flag in there. Look like it's gonna be a holding call against the rules. Two minutes and 39 seconds. It's a flag against the Kangaroos. I mean, yes, they didn't give the Hawks a first down, or is it going to be first down against Ruse for holding? It's going to be first and 25. Two receivers to the near, two to the top. Snaps back, and that is Brown. Pitches out to Burton on the first side. Gets the corner. Got first down now. Got back to the line of scrimmage. The original line of scrimmage. And run out of bound over there with a hard bump. So it's going to bring up second and ten. It's going to be second down, and let's call it seven. It's going to be a flag against the Bruce Watts sideline warning. Flag down against Kentwood. Sideline warning. Again, it's going to be a penalty this time. It's going to move him back five. going to bring up second down and 12. Two minutes, 16 seconds in the first stanza. Three receivers here to the near side for the Hawks. No, the Hawks is on defense, so. Now that you cover it, you got two receivers here to the near side for the white hat, for the orange hat guys. Two to the top, snaps back. Looks, 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 got pressure. And he gets out of that. He's one around the first side, gets out of that tackle. Gets out of another tackle. Turn in would be a good loss. I don't see any flags. It's gonna bring up a third down and four. And it's a quarterback turn a, a big loss into a game for the Ruse. Third down. Two receivers to both sides, snap back. There was a quick hitter out there, and he's knocked out of bounds over there by Harness. Gonna be just short of the first down, so let's see if the rule's gonna go for it. It's gonna be a fourth down and short. Look like Kent Wood's gonna call timeout. We'll take a break right here. I'd like to say to all the folks that's watching us. Stay tuned.
Well, it's a big fourth down play, but 40 seconds to go in the half. I don't know if Kenwood's gonna go for it on fourth down or not, but it's sure in position to do that. It's gonna be fourth and about one, let's call it two. I'd like to remind you, all you fans that's listening, if you wanna join the team, we're looking for announcers, camera guys, stat guys. Give us a call at Go Sports TV. And that's going to be uh, first down for the Rules as Burton powered his way right off the left side of the Hawks line. 34 seconds to go in the half. Timeout charge to the Rules. I'd like to remind you once again, you're watching Flying Ghosts, production of Ghost Sports TV. down and 10 from the 20 yard line 34 seconds to go in the half 29 seconds I'm sorry two receivers to both sides for Kentwood man in motion that's Burton and he got good pressure that flushes him out of there got got a flag and it's going to be intercepted out of bounds by Darryl Singleton. He picked it off in the end zone, but it landed out of bounds. But there's a flag on the play with 21 seconds to go. Holding against the rules of Kentwood. Going back and back, put a good bit. First down and ten from the thirty five. Kent Woods in three receivers to the near side, one to the top of the field. Make it in at a burden. He's going to throw a fly pattern wide open. And he just blew right by a would be coverage for the Hawks. But 14 seconds to go in the game, and they burnt him. And it's going to be a flag on the play. Fourteen seconds to go to intermission. Unsportsmanlike conduct uh, against Kentwood was, was the flag. With 14 seconds to go, they're going to try to score the point after from 17 yards out. Where a lot 
Let's see what the rules going to do about this extra point. You got four seconds left. Three receivers here. Shot back. Flag down. And it's no good. Liga motion. Guess Kent Woods going to be declined. So with 14 seconds to go, the Hawks got a chance to run this one back. Back here as Kentwood come off the score, 13 to nothing over the Hawks. Harness and Singleton back deep. Fourteen seconds left to go. Comes down to Hornets at about the nine. Comes this way, gets to 20, turns the corner, gets to 25, gets the knocked out of bound at about the 27. Got time for one play on the clock, that's five seconds. Kentwood 13, the Hawks 0. Got a penalty, uh, a injured play on the field would take the time out. Last pair of this first quarter. Two receivers below us, one to the top of the field. And Darian Baker is that quarterback. Kemp was in a prevent. Three step drop, throws it out here short to Hicks Singleton. Singleton jukes one guy, gets out of another one. And finally knocked out of bound at about the 32 as the clock sound, and that's half time, 13 nothing. Rules over the Hawks.
Traffic control. I have I have a set of keys that's been lost or misplaced. A set of keys. It's gonna be it's gonna have a Pontiac sign on it. A set of keys. If you see some keys that have a Pontiac sign on it, please bring them to the press box.
As we get ready to start this second half, Kent Wood scored two touchdowns in the first quarter. Missed an extra point. Score stands 13-0 for the rules of Kent Wood over the Hawks of St. Helena. As we start this second half, we've got to remind you next week we'll be right here on Go Sports TV as the St. Helena Hawks take on the Sumner Cowboys right here at 7 o'clock kickoff. You're watching Go Sports TV with James Smokey Leonard. As the Hawks come out here, try to straighten it out in this second stanza, see if they can score 14 points and hold Kent Wood to no score. The Go Sports TV would like to invite you to join our team. We need announcers, camera guys, statisticians. If you want to be a part of the team, just contact Flying Ghost Production. Kentwood will be receiving the opening kickoff. Back to receive. Number one, Carter. Carter's back. Number for six, Briggs. Gaines back Sorry. for the... Number six, Kick off for the Hawks. Hawks are going to be kicking it off. Look like that's a wheeler teeing it up. Kick coming down to the 20-yard line, 22, and he gets up to the 30. Host of Hawks pushes him back. Ball is going to be at the 30-yard line of the Hawks. So the rules will play first and 10 from the 30. Ball is at the 29 for the rules, first and 10. Same, same backfield for the rules. Now I take that back. They got a whole new set of backs. 
to receive it to the near side. Man in motion. A fake gives it to him as he tried to get the corner. And he's pulled out from behind by number 10, Xavier Garden. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Good tackle. As we got an injured player, and we'll take an injury timeout. Welcome back to the heart of St. Helena Parish School District, where education blossoms and futures ignite. Our hallways are adorned with the achievements of those who aim high. It's time to rethink St. Helena. Are you ready to get back to discovering? Socializing. Are you ready to get back to winning? And now, as the sun sets on this chapter, a chorus of victory rises. Hey, Alina! Are you ready to get back to winning? Welcome back to St. Helena Parish School District, where every day we are winning. Welcome back to the heart of St. Helena Parish School District, where education blossoms and fuels.
after the injury timeout to Xavier Gordon. It's going to be first and ten for the rules. I mean, second and ten for the rules. That was Cheney on the. And it crossed Buck to number 21 up for about five yards. That was Cheney on the injury for the Hawks. It's going to bring up four yards. It's going to bring up second down and six. As they get set, two receivers to the near side, two to the top of the field, one back set with the quarterback. Got a new quarterback in, new running back. And a three-step drop, looks, 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 got it flushed out of there. Gonna be almost intercepted as he under threw. The rugby receiver is gonna fall incomplete. It's gonna bring up fourth down. Fourth and six for the Hawk, I mean for the Ruse. It's gonna bring up third down. It's going to be a holding call against Kentwood. And it's going to force a punt. Back deep for the Hawks is going to be Singleton. Good snap. High kick, short. It's going to be a Hawks ball. On the bounce, it takes a Hawks bounce. Bad kick, so the Hawks going to take a first down from the 38-yard line on that bad kick by Kentwood. As the Hawks play first and 10 on the first time of this quarter, we got 10 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Baker is in at quarterback. As they break the huddle, send two receivers to the near side. We got two to the far side. Baker is in at quarterback with Brister on the side. Throw a quick hitter out here to Brister. Got a block. Gets the outside, gets to 30, inside the 30 to about the 29. Good for six. It's gonna bring up second down and four. Second down and four from a 31 yard line. Baker brings his team to the line of scrimmage. Sent two receivers here to the near side. That's Harness and Singleton. You got Martin and Doty on the far side. Snaps back, three-step drop. Looks, 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 throws it. Complete to the far side, first down. As the freshman on the far side, number 88. Gets his first catch of the season as the Hawks play first and 10 from the 24. It's at the 25 yard line. As they break the huddle, two receivers here to the near side. That's Jarvis, Brister, and they got three. Hornets, Brister, and Singleton, one to the top of the field. No, that's two to the top of the field. Three, 
throws it out here, complete to Singleton. Got a block, cuts back inside, gets inside the 20 to about the 22 yard line. As they working it, working it to Singleton on this drive. It's gonna bring up second down and eight, uh, two on the play. Now they got three receivers here to the near side once again. As they finally get it set, Baker calls for it. Three step drop, throws it. And complete. First down, and they got a flag on the play. First down Hawk, but I got a flag on the play. Holding against the Hawks. Gonna be second and short. No, it's gonna be second and let's call it second and three. Spring play to the inside, and that is Hornets as he cuts, twists, and turns back to the line of scrimmage. Original line of scrimmage, gonna lose about four. 7.24 to go, the Hawks on a mile drive. Timeout, St. Helena. As the Hawks line up on a third down and seven. And a drop, yeah, looks, yeah, looks, yeah, looks, yeah, looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, as he missed him, uh, zipped it a little too hard. It got away from him. He had a man open coming across the middle of a Singleton. As it falls incomplete. Let's bring up fourth down. <laughs> Seven oh six to go on a fourth down play for the Hawks. Fourth down for the Hawks as they send two the receivers. Zone, baby. Let's get the end zone. One to the far side. Three to the far side, one here nears. Snaps back, three step, five step drop, got pressure, got, got pressure, throws it. Intercepted on one yard line. Back through an interception, had a guy open, just flat out missed him. Kentwood made him pay. Be on the 
as he intercepted it at the two. 6.52 to go. As the Hawks got the rules pinned back against their own goal after that interception, I'd like to remind you, next week we get the full game. We get the pregame interview with the coaches. We also will have the postgame with the coaches, full plate next week. And we'd like to ask you once again, if you're interested in joining the team, contact us. At Flying Ghost Production. As Kentwood is backed up, and that's going to be a legal procedure charge to the rules. Let's see if we can get two points out of this at least. Kentwood taking the ball from their own end zone and could be offside charge to the Hawks for encroachment. Give them five yards up from the goal line with 644 to go. First and five from the seven. Snap back, heading off to the running back. Hit the A gap, got good running room, and he's powered his way up to about the 17. Got enough for a first. Six twenty six and running. <laughs> Snaps back, hand off to the running back. Once again, got good running room, and he runs over people to the thirty, up to the thirty five. Good power run in there by number nine, Burton. As the Kentwood Rulers move out of the shell of their own goal up to about the 36 yard line. Got a flag on the play. And it's been waved off. First and 10 for the Rules. And we'll take a hydration timeout. First and 10 for Kidwood at the 35, 36. Two receivers to the top, one below us, 
one back set. Got another stoppage here. As they replace one player, number 55. Place him with number 68. Snaps back, got a flag, that should be procedure. It is, five yards against the rules. Five fifty-seven to go. 14, 13 and nothing, Kentwood over the Hawks. It's gonna be first and 15 for the rules at the, from the 30. Let's call it the 31. As he throws it complete to 29, and 29 jukes one guy. Out of bound at the 35. Pick up about six. It's gonna be second down and 11. Five twenty. Two receivers to the near side, two to the top. And they're gonna be a run with the quarterback number four. Got good yardage, gets to the outside, turns the corners, gets up to about the 44. Got a flag on the play. Second and 15 from the 31. Snaps back. Quick hitter out here. In that ball goes all incomplete. Incomplete. Third down with 433 to go. Third down for the rules, and 15. Three receivers here to the near side. Snap back, man in motion, looks, 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 looks. Got pressure, throws it. As it falls incomplete. Gonna bring up fourth down for the Rules of Kent Wood. 4.14 to go. Let's see if the Hawks can at least get on the board in the last four minutes. Let's take it to the house. 
Snap back. A good kick by the Ruse. Over the head of the Hawks, gonna take a Kent Wood bounce inside the 20 to about the 17. So the first and 10 from that spot. First and 10 from the Hawks from their own 18. Baker looks, 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 throws it. Complete, that's Singleton, wide open, gets the middle of the field, gets a block on the first side, turns the corner upside, down the sideline, up to about the 48 yard line. Big, good, good running catch by Singleton as he caught the ball in the left, right flat and took it back to the other side of the field for a first down at about the 47 yard line. Good looking running catch by Singleton. Two receivers to both sides for the Hawks. Timeout, Kentwood. 3.53 to go and we'll take a timeout. Just a wonderful thing for the town of Greensboro. You know, they love to run the ball and like to do those other quick. It's going to be a first down for the Hawks at the 46 yard line. 3.53 to go in the contest. Two receivers to both sides for the Hawks. Empty backfield. You got three and two. Baker on a pressure, and he got a good run the room, gets slid down as a smart move. Good for seven yards, and Baker used his legs that time. Second down and five. The ball is at the 49-yard line of the Ruse. 3.15 and counting. Two receivers to the top. Two below. Snaps back. Got pressure. Throws it. And he got a man that is Singleton is going to take it to the house. Singleton on a 49-yard strike from Baker. As Singleton wiggled his way into the end zone. We're still in it. We're still in it. We're still in it. 
Good looking camp pick, pass and throw from Baker to Singleton. Get him in space, they can't hold him. Get him in space, they can't hold him. As the Hawks gonna go for two. As they lined up, one receiver to the go far to side, the and they're going to run it with Harness, and he's going go to get the corner. Stick it in. Stick and he's get it in there, yes. And Harness powered his way in for the two-point conversion. So just like that, but two minutes left, the Hawks are back into the game, 13 to 6. 13 to 8, I'm sorry. Willow teared up for the Hawks. They move within five points of the rules, 13 to eight. Two minutes and 46 seconds to go. It's gonna be to number two, and he tried to reverse fields, and he gets around one block on the first side. Finally brought down at about the 40 yard line. Got an injured player. Kentwood come out, play first and 10 from the 41 yard line. Big six. Two receivers to both sides. He's gonna run it in there with Burton and right up the gut and he runs in, inside the 45 yard line down to about the 42. That's Burton, they power back. Well, he's the all back. Had a great year a year ago. Two eleven in the contest. Two receivers to both sides. Once again, they're going to. False start, or let's see what the call is going to be. Could be approaching on the Hawks. Offside charge the Hawks. It's going to be first and five. One fifty two. 152 to go in the contest. 
Kent Wood comes to the line of scrimmage with two receivers to both sides. He's gonna run it, snatch it out of his hand, he don't want it. Snap back and they give it to number one and he fixes to get it outside. Turns the corner on the first side, right at the marker. And he maybe out just short, 1.30 to go. Just short of the first time. Well, you know the Hawks came out and played a little nostalgic in the first quarter. Played much better here, I think, in the second half. It was in there getting the ball to Stingham and their player maker to close the gap on the score, 13 to eight. And that is a big run in there by the Rules. They're all the way down Burton, all the way down inside the 20. With 120 left, and it's the Burton show on this drive. Got another hawk down and he gets up. That is Jarvis Brister. We got an injury timeout and then we take a break. Always are adorned with the achievements of those who aim high. It's time to rethink Sailor. Are you ready to get back to discovering? Socializing. Are you ready to get back to reading? And now, as the sun sets on this chapter, a chorus of victory rises. Hey, Alina, are you ready to get back to winning? Welcome back to St. Helena Parish School District, where every day we are winning. Welcome back to the heart of St. Helena Parish School District, where education blossoms and futures ignite. Our hallways are adorned with the achievements of those who aim high. It's time to rethink St. Helena. Are you ready to get back to discovering? Socializing. And now, as the sun sets on this chapter, a chorus of victory rises. Hey, Alina, are you ready to get back to winning? Welcome back to St. Helena Parish School District, where every day we are winning. down to the last minute and 16 seconds. Ball is inside the 15 yard line to the 12 for Kent Wood after this timeout. Let's see if they're gonna try to put more on the, on the board. 
Snap is back, hand off to Burton, power his way right up the gut, inside the five, down to about the three. 52 seconds left to go. Looks like this ball will be placed on the five-yard line. 37, 42 seconds left. Let's be second down. And two. Second down and two. Second and two with 32 seconds. That's once again a quarterback keeper, and he's going to walk it in. That's going to be another touchdown. So with 18 seconds left to go in the game, the rules walk it in on a quarterback keeper. Left to go on the clock. We have Kick is up, and <laughs> he tried not to get it, but he made it anyway. So, 20 to 8 to score, but 18 seconds to go in the contest. As Ruse prepared to kick off, 18 seconds left. Ball is up. Cover up, man. And that is number five on the far side. Hollis Doty on the far side. I can remind you once again, next week the Hawks will be right here against the Sumner Cowboys, 7 o'clock kickoff. You can catch the game on Go Sports TV. Field complete over here to 17, Doty. Three seconds. Got one more play, and let's see what's going to happen. The ball is at the 47-yard line of the Hawks. And 
and that's going to be the whistle, and it's going to be out of bounds by Baker. And that's it from the Hawks Nest here as the Hawks falls to the Rules by a score of 20 to 8. I want to appreciate you all for joining us in here tonight on Golf Sports TV. Please give us some feedback on what we can correct and what we can't correct. And uh, we are glad to have you here to give us some feedback and how we can get things better. Remember, if you're interested in joining our team, contact Ghost Sports TV and Flying Ghost Production. My name is James Smokey Leonard, and we'll see you next week from the Hawks Nest as the Hawks take on the Cowboys' 7 o'clock kickoff. Have a good night.